welcome back so we are finished with trees check again uh, my main picture and now we are trying to create these bushes 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 i think bushes yeah so it's also not so hard we are going back for our uh, our project we are select this cloner up to this random alt g on your keyboard and call it tree after that select up to red and up to red so we haven't any more camera disable my camera okay so how to create a bash very similar to tree create a cube reduce little bit size up to maybe one centimeter something like that make it make it smaller maybe 100 only okay maybe less maybe 75 something like that uh, now we are create segments like this line and create a uh, two segments here maybe four maybe two so two will be enough we no need too much polygons because anyway we will use a sketching tool okay so uh going for as you can see now we cannot make edit any points yes you have to select this one cube and make it editable after that you're going for point selection and now you can select and move any points so rectangle tool select here shift select here scale just make it smaller maybe something like that i use a scroll yeah for fast okay select here just push it forward a little bit what next next we are going here again select select all these points make it smaller something like this going for top view select the middle points going for somewhere side view and pick up it a little bit like this uh -huh, it's here will be a yeah, some some somewhere something like this what next next i i take it a little bit put down here i put little bit more oh sorry little bit more down and finally i get like this leaf okay what now now i select everything on top and make it a little bit thin, maybe a little bit like this. Okay, so very nice. I like it. I like it. Looks like very nice. Okay, what we will do now? As you see, as you see, if I make a selection, it's again somewhere on the middle. But I like to transfer it somewhere down. So I am going for this view select this check my previous tutorial enable access and just drag and drop somewhere here very good don't forget to disable it okay if i move now i will get nice result so uh, like before we are going for mograph we are going for cloner and put this cube inside to the cloner inside in the cloner we are going for object and mod take object but for a moment i haven't any object yeah so i have to create this object again going for cube going for sphere and take cloner and put this sphere inside in the cloner and what i get i get like this result somewhere inside and really i don't like it so inside in distribution surface i have to change for distribution by vertex each vertex will get this result but you see it's somewhere inside so how to fix this problem uh, just a moment yeah don't forget to fix cloner take out fix cloner so mm -hmm. as you can see it is somewhere inside or maybe we are using a fix cloner doesn't matter we are going for transform and just not this not this yeah so just push it is down down from a sphere okay very good 
what I get? I get, get like this a bash. It's very big and very strange. So for a moment, I disable a cloner and go to sphere. And I no need downstairs nothing. I need only on top. So we are going for type sphere object type and take it hemisphere. It means my sphere will be only half. It means my bash will be only on top. Enable my cloner. Why is down? Very strange. It's really very strange. So just a moment, give me to check. Maybe I will change. Uh huh. Okay. So you see, yeah, some settings, some settings you can you can check yourself. So uh, maybe somewhere I have mistake, but doesn't matter. Finally, we will get a good result. And now change direction. Okay, so it will be 180 and here will be zero. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's clear. Now it's clear. Some I have somewhere a mistake. Doesn't matter. So we have very interesting bash. Uh, so, if you like to create a copy of this material, you just take this material, hold a, a counter on your keyboard, drag and drop. You see, like this. Apply this material for cloner and apply same material for sphere. Open this material and edit it. We are going for gradient. We are make it dark green. We are make it very light green something like that so nice result render uh, okay before render don't forget to disable save and don't forget to make a current frame render and check result so looks like very nice uh, but i like to apply some yeah, before I apply some uh, random effect, so we are going for camera front view. We are increase little bit. You see, it's, it looks like very nice. So we are going for cloner. Some options. We can put it's little bit down, little bit on top. It depends what you like to receive. Maybe something like this. We can go for cloner, create effector. A random effector going in random effector change mode for turbulence animation speed for thousand parameters we don't need any position but we need some scale like before i change maybe 0 0.5 we will see yeah you see some will be bigger some will be smaller we are going for rotation and we will check yeah maybe we will see just a moment i will check any rotation Okay, some will be on top. Okay, so here will be somewhere 10, somewhere 10, and here will be somewhere 25. Something like that. Looks like very nice. So if I play it, you see, every frame I have a different bash. Different bash, and it looks like very nice. But uh, as you can see, uh, as you can see, just a moment, I will check here. If I turn it, no, not here. Where is I have to turn? No, no. Okay. Just a moment, just a moment. Maybe an object. So doesn't matter. Uh, we can make like this. We are going for this sphere and coordinates. You see, I can rotate the sphere, can rotate the sphere. I'm going for keyframe number zero, going here and push button. As you can see here, I have some animation keyframe. Then I am going for last and increase maybe, I don't know, maybe 3060, doesn't matter, very big value. Again, select it. And every frame I have rotation. No, maybe I, I check too much. Maybe I will use uh, only 360. Yeah. 
No, I change little bit smaller, maybe only 60. I just to receive. Yeah, you see. Maybe I will change something less. 30 only. Okay, very good. You see, I also have rotation. Very nice. So, uh, going back to my settings, just increase somewhere here. Put somewhere down, maybe something like that. Check that all my bushes will be inside in this area. Uh, going for render settings, current, uh, manual, so from 0 to 9, save, going for save and make it small bash, something like that. And output, I no need this. Uh, white, I make 512, 512. I like to make small texture. Okay, when everything done, just render and wait. You see how many bushes I receive a very, very fast. Same we will do for big bushes. As you remember, here will be some big bushes will be on front. So this small uh, 512 for 512 texture, it will be something like this. Texture is enough. But for this, I like to make little bit bigger texture for receive more better result. For this reason, I'm close it. I'm going for render options. I increase again for 124, 1024, going for save and change it for big bash. Uh, sorry, bash, bash should be like this. Sorry for my English. Yeah, bash, big bash. Okay, something like that. Yeah, and for receive some randomize, for receive some randomize, I will render from frame number 10 to frame number 19. Render, and I will get some other, other bushes. You see, it's also render. Of course, you can change some color, you can do wherever you like. It depends uh, what are you doing. I just show you like a basic idea how to do and how to animate it. So, it is done. It is done. We are close it. And we are going for check what we are receiving now. Tutorials, yeah, you see. So big bash will be like this. Small bash, where is my small bash? Will be smaller. Okay, very good. Uh, tutorial with bashes completed. See you in next video. Goodbye.